Joining us on the phone this morning, I think it's the first time that we've uh, visited with uh, our next guest, the president of the Black Conservative Federation and Black Voices for Trump Advisory Board member, Deontay Johnson. Uh, Mr. Johnson, welcome to the show. How are you today? I'm well. How are you? Doing great. Uh, appreciate you joining us. Uh, first, I, I, I want to ask you, uh, talk a little bit about the Black Conservative Federation. Uh, I'm sure there are a lot of listeners out there that may not have heard of uh, that organization. I want to get you a chance to, to, to plug it. So the Black Conservative Federation is a millennial-ran organization. We focus on economic stability, educational advancement, and community involvement. We are a hub for black conservatives all over this great nation. Uh, we focus on helping candidates get elected, recruiting candidates to run for office. We focus on um, pushing and promoting um, different policy and um, principles of the party, and then we push policies that come out of the White House of the president. From the president, uh, we do an assortment of things um, responding to issues like we've seen recently with what's happening in Minneapolis. We are a voice for the uh, for for black conservatives, and that's what we do. Is this a a group that is growing uh, in in the U.S. right now? You think? Uh, we are growing every single day. Every single day um, we get new subscribers and we get people who want to get involved and people who are just eager to help build this movement. So we are definitely increasing every day. Well, and, and you know, it, it, the reason I ask that is because uh, Joe Biden, uh, he's out there uh, telling African-Americans, you ain't black if you're going to vote for Trump. Uh, I mean, what, yeah, are, you, we're not what are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're not black, um, and so I was thinking about changing the name of the organization to um, just "You Ain't Black." <laughs> uh, but we got—I got to figure that out. I got to figure out the logistics of that. But you know, Joe Biden confirmed it, and so I said, "Well, you know, if a seventy-seven-year-old white man is going to tell me that I ain't black, <laughs> then you know he knows more than I know." So I guess um, I should probably listen to him. Well, you know, I, I do want to ask you about Joe. Uh, Joe Biden's now going around saying that he's going to fix it everything that uh, joe biden uh you know with all the uh, with everything that's been Bob going on yeah he's he's gonna fix everything he's gonna bring racial harmony to the united states which is weird because he's been in dc since 1972 and he hasn't been able to do much of anything you know that's the thing about these politicians is you know and I, and I said the same thing about Hillary Clinton i'm like if you couldn't do it as a united states senator if you couldn't do it as a first lady of a uh, of the White House, you couldn't do it as the First Lady of Arkansas. Um, you couldn't do it as Secretary of State. What makes you think you're going to be able to do it as President of the United States? Yeah. You know, you have had time and time again to make change. I'm pretty sure Barack Obama um, gave Joe Biden the opportunity to take on whatever issues he felt important. What he should have done is try to repair that 94 crime bill that happened in, uh, that happened um, in 1994 during his time in the Obama administration, but he didn't. He should have everything that he's fighting for now. He should have, he should have and could have done it more than anyone else during his uh, time as vice president. Yeah, you know, when let's say you're 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 talking to a group uh and and uh the the message from Democrats forever and the message from Joe Biden now is you ain't black. Uh if if you if you vote for Donald Trump, when you compare the records uh of of Trump versus Joe Biden and just what Trump has done uh for the black community just in the first term, uh, does it open eyes for people? Because I think it should. Well, you know, let me tell you something. You know, you usually have presidents that will wait till the end of their term, wait until almost election time, or um, politicians in general to say, "Oh, you know what? I'm going to do a proclo. I'm going to do a uh, pardon. I'm going to do something to in the black community." No, no, no. President Trump has made put the black agenda at the forefront from. Um, 2017 in January, as soon as he was inaugurated, he made sure that the black agenda was at the top of it. We talk about African-American unemployment rate being at an all-time low. We talk about opportunity zones where um, 
where 8,700 opportunity zones were placed over this great nation. We talk about poverty rate going from um, being uh, where 300,000 people were released out of poverty. We talk about um, criminal justice reform. We talk about the First Step Act and the second chance hiring. We talk about tax reform where he doubled the tax credit. I can go on for ages. And then we, we cannot forget about HBCU where he first started with $360 million uh, in funding. Then he went, then he proposed a $400 million. And then he said, you know what? Forget it. Let's make it permanent funding. Uh, there, there's been a lot that uh, that this president yeah. uh, ha- has done, and uh, I think uh, once the uh, once the debates and once the 2020 election gets really uh, started, I, I, I don't see how Joe Biden can uh, hold a candle to, uh, to what President Trump has done. He can't. He can't. And that's and that is and that is what's interesting is that you know Joe Biden is constantly comparing and his team is comparing and. Uh, but he does not have anything to run on. Yeah. But the ninety four sign bill. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> That's true. Uh that is true. And I bet that'll come up. Uh hey, Deontay, tell folks where they can find out more information, uh not only uh, about uh the work you're doing uh as a uh, member of the uh Trump advisory board member, but also uh as president of the Black Conservative Federation. Well, you know, they can find out more about us by visiting blackgop.us. Um, they want to donate. They want to get involved. They want to ask questions or figure out more about us. They can visit us there at blackgop.us. They can also visit us at on our Twitter at BCF official underscore. That's again, that's BCF official underscore. They can also visit us on Facebook at Black Conservative Federation um, by just keying that in. And uh, we're always willing to get more people engaged. You don't have to be black. Um, and you just you just want have to want to increase the black uh, presence in the conservative movement. And then uh, Black Voices for Trump, you can visit us at blackvoices.donaldjtrump.com um, to find out more information about that. We are we are selling we are, we are we are pushing the message. We are pushing what the president has done, and we are making sure that people understand that promises made, promises kept. This president is doing so much. He's he's keeping promises he didn't even make. That's uh, that's very good. And uh, Deontay Johnson, it's a pleasure visiting with you. Hopefully we get to visit again soon. Thank you. God bless. Thank you. That's uh, Deontay Johnson here on the Chad Eastie Show.